Blissful morning, everyone. Our topic today is Chapter 16, Skinner, Behavioral Analysis. So, let's screen share the topic. So, we'll check the question and answer part. Number one, the sign and fill in the blanks. Thorndike's law of effects states that responses to stimuli that are followed by a satisfier tend to be learned. Number two. John Watson, not B.F. Skinner, was the first behaviorist to insist that psychology should be limited to the, a study of observable world's behavior. Number three, psychology must be restricted to the study of observable behavior, according to Skinner. Number four, while still in college, Skinner decided to become a writer. Number five, human behavior is subject to the laws of science, according to Skinner. Number six, Pavlovian conditioning is also called classical conditioning. Number seven. In operant conditioning, the experimenter first rewards gross approximations of the target behavior and gradually rewards responses closer to the final target. Such a procedure is called shaping or successive approximation. Number eight. An event that strengthens behavior is called a reinforcer, number nine. A positive reinforcer is any stimulus that, when added to a situation, increases the probability that the given behavior will recur. Number 10. Like positive reinforcers, negative reinforcers strengthen behavior. Number 11. The effects of punishment are less predictable than those of reward. Number 12, many conditioned reinforcers are not by nature satisfying, but they become so because they are associated with primary reinforcers. Number 13, the least efficient schedule is the continuous schedule. Number 14, non-reinforcement of a response leads to extinction. Number 15, Skinner rejected the notion of unconscious motivation but accepted the idea of unconscious behavior. Number 16, Skinner believed that the environment, not free will, is responsible for, for behavior. Number 17. Two opposite factors in controlling behavior are cetacean and deprivation. Number 18. To Skinner, behavior is shaped by natural selection, reinforcement, and cultural evolution. Number 19. The environment is ultimately responsible for self-control. And number 20, Skinner believed that psychotherapy is one of the chief obstacles blocking psychology's attempt to become scientific. Let's now move to true or false. Number one, Thorndike's amended law of effect minimized the effects of satisfiers and emphasized the importance of annoyers. False. Number two, John Watson believed that the goal of psychology is prediction and control of behavior. Mm. Number three, Skinner had no use for hypothetical constructs such as id, archetypes, and motives. True. Number four, Skinner decided to be a behaviorist even before he entered graduate school. True. Number five, Skinner contended that human behavior follows principles that are basically the same as those that apply to animal behavior. True. Number six, Skinner, Skinner's theory tries to interpret and explain human behavior. False. Number seven, with open conditioning, behavior is elicited, that is, it is drawn out of the organism. False. Number eight, operant conditioning, operant co discrimination seems to be an innate ability. False. Number nine, Watson and Rainer's experiment with little Albert was an example of classical conditioning. False. Number ten, both negative and Positive reinforcers strengthens behavior. True. Number 11. Punishment strengthens a response just as negative enforcement does. False. Number 12. Skinner believed that more behavior is shaped by natural selection than by reinforcement. False. 13. Although emotions are real, Skinner argued that scientists should not attribute behavior to them. True. Number 14. Skinner held that self-control is achieved by developing strong willpower. False. Number 15. Skinner agreed that Freud, that dreams can be wish fulfillments. True. 16. Skinner believed that psychotherapy offers the best hope for an improvement of the human species. False. Number 17. Recent 
research has found that punishment tends to improve learning for people low in anxiety falls. 18. Skinner's concept of humanity is both deterministic and pessimistic falls. Number 19. Skinner's theory rates very high on causality. True. Number 20. Skinner recognized the existence of internal states as thinking and feeling. True. Let's now go to multiple choice. Number 1. Which term best letter describes B.F. Skinner, letter A, determinist? Number 2. While in college, Skinner aspired to become letter B, a writer. Number three, Thorndike's law and effects states that responses to stimuli that are followed by a satisfier tend to be, be stamped on. Four, John Martin argued that the goal of psychology is that our day to study behavior objectively. Number five, according to Skinner, internal mental states such as thinking, foresight, and reasoning letter B exist but should not be used to explain behavior. Number six, after Skinner's younger brother, died, his parents, letter C, did not want to let Skinner go. Number seven, Skinner believed that most crucial aspect of science is, letter D, valuing empirical observation. Number eight, shaping complex behavior through operant conditioning usually includes the, letter D, successive approximation. Number nine, any aversive condition that when removed from a situation increases the probability that a given behavior will occur is A, letter A, negative reinforcement. Then four, sir. Number ten, Skinner favored a reward over punishment largely because, letter C, the effects of punishment are less predictable. Eleven, Alison rubs her knee. To reduce pain, this behavior is most likely an example of letter E, negative reinforcement. Number 12, a bricklayer is paid a given amount of money for every brick lead. The procedure most closely approximates which is schedule of reinforcement, letter A, fixed ratio. Number 13, extinction of a response will occur earliest when learning occurs under this schedule of reinforcement, letter A continues. 14, which of these would be the best example of a conditioned reinforcer? Letter C, praise. 15. A slot machine pays off of this schedule. Letter E, none of the above. 16. According to Skinner, human personality is partially shaped by letter A, natural selection. 17. A unified repertoire of responses is Skinner's definition of letter C, human personality. 18. Which of these concepts would Skinner see as a as an explanatory fiction, letter D, all of the above. 19. Skinner saw creative behavior as a sorting form, letter A, mutation. 20. According to Skinner, the act of blocking out unpleasant thoughts is an example of, letter C, negative reinforcement. 21. According to Skinner, a healthy behavior, letter B, does not exist. 22. In his philosophy of science, Skinner, letter C, opposed scientific research. For the short answer, number one, explain the difference between classical and operant conditioning. Number two, explain three essential components of operant conditioning. Number three, explain how behavior can be shaped from under undifferentiated into highly complex behavior. Four, name two effects of reinforcement. Number five, explain three undesirable effects of punishment. Number six, list three forces that shape human behavior, according to Skinner. Number seven, name three reasons why people might remain in a group that abuses them. And thank you so much. So kapag na-reach natin ang 1,000 subscribers, marimim kayo tayo ng Gold Jubilees. Thank you so much. Bye!